Okay, I wanted to talk about some basics for people who are submitting short stories for the very first time. So I think it's good to get into good habits from the very beginning. So here's my attempt to help you with that. So first off, let's talk about researching markets. That's pretty important. So where do you find the markets that you're going to be sending short stories to? Well, hopefully you're reading short stories in the genre that you're submitting to. And so you're looking at those markets. But there are some places where you can go and search in order to find markets that are particularly suitable. So one of these is uh, the Submissions Grinder, and I'll include the link for you. Uh, another is Rollin.com. I'll include that link as well. And another is Duotrope. The first two are free. The, second, the third is paid. If you use one of the first two, please consider kicking them a few bucks. Uh, the first one, the Submissions Grinder, has some other advantages that I'll talk about in part four. Anyway, you want to look for a market that you would be proud and happy to appear in, and you want to submit to the top tier markets first, right? The, the most prestigious, best paying, whatever criteria you're using, and I'll talk about that in part two, but pick the top ones. Don't work from the bottom up, go from the top down. And I know that sounds a little silly maybe, but sometimes people don't understand that. And they're like, well, I'll start with the sure things and build my way up. But no, now you will get more soul crushing rejection going from the top down, but your chances will be better. So let's talk about that because uh, that's part of part two, choosing markets. So when you are looking at markets, let's say you go to Rollin.com, look for a market that pays. Look for a market that you would be happy to appear in. Look for a market that doesn't grab all the rights. And how do you know that? One of the things that you can do is Google around, particularly look at CIFWA's Writer Beware. Just Google on Writer Beware and you'll see it. They will tell you when people are scamming you. But generally, I don't submit to markets that charge fees to submit. I understand that things are different in the literary market world and they feel justified in charging submission fees, but no one in speculative fiction should be charging a submission fee. You may also want to think about turnaround time. Uh, I personally will opt for the market that replies within a week over the market that takes a year. I mean, that's just common sense. It takes an awful lot of money uh, to make me think differently about it. Okay, so once you've kind of gotten some markets that you're thinking about for your story, I do urge you, if possible, to research them, uh, to go and look at them, read the guidelines. Uh, certainly you're going to want to do that and just sort of get a feel for them when you're choosing. And I personally suggest lining up uh, three to five markets where you're like, okay, I'm going to send it to here, and if they turn it around, I'll send it to here. And if they say no, I'll turn it to here. There is no shame in that. You are not jinxing yourself. It's what I do. Uh, you will, you know, it's what you got to do. All right. So let's move on to part three, submitting stories. All right. Pretty easy to do. But as I said, go look at the guidelines because the guidelines will tell you what to do follow the guidelines. That's pretty important too, because those are sort of the first hoop that you must jump through. And if you fail to, to jump through that hoop, they may very well disqualify you. They may be kind and not, but uh, sometimes they will. Um, I will include a link to a basic cover letter, but here's all you need. Dear editor, not literally editor name, their name, uh, here is my story, comma, title, comma, number of words. And that's all that you need for the first paragraph. 
And then your second paragraph is the one that's sort of the ammo to get you past the slush reader, right? The ammo to make you go, the slush reader go, oh, I better pass this up the line or to favorably predispose the slush reader or whatever. It's okay to leave this out if you have no publications or credits or whatever, that's fine. That's totally, totally swell. This is an optional second paragraph, which I urge you to make use of if you can, right? Third paragraph is simply, uh, thank you for your consideration. I look forward to your reply. If you are being old school and sending it snail mail, and I don't know of any markets anymore that make you apply or send stuff snail mail, uh, but if you did, you would say, I enclose a SACI, a self-addressed stamped envelope. However, I, I think that's pretty much a thing of the past. All right, so you have researched your markets, you have chosen a market, you have sent the story out according to the, with the cover letter that I suggest and the formatting guidelines that I suggest, and I'll include that URL as well. So then we get to part four. What can part four possibly be? Tracking. Okay, this is pretty important and it's really a good habit to get into from day one. Have a spreadsheet that says story title, the date that it was sent, where it was sent, uh, preferably the, the email that you sent it to or the link to the web portal that you submitted it through. Why do you do this? Because you're like, I only have three stories out. I totally know where they are. Let me tell you, as the author of over 200 published short stories, there comes a point, and it's pretty early on, where you forget what has gone where. And so you're going to want to track those submissions. You're going to want to know where you sent stuff. You're going to want to know where you sent it. And you're going to do this in a way that makes you feel happy and accomplished. So you look at the spreadsheet and you're like, I got two dozen submissions uh, sent out in 2019. Because that's what you have to do, right? If you want to track stuff and set goals, set goals that are achievable. So X number of submissions, not X numbers of stories published, because that's kind of hard to control or not a story published in market Y, because that's pretty hard to control as well. Make it something controllable and then go for it and see what you can do. So if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I will see what I can do to answer them in a timely fashion. All right, so I am Kat Rambo. This PSA is brought to you courtesy of the Rambo Academy for Wayward Writers devoted to teaching new speculative fiction writers the whys and wherefores of the genre. And I hope you'll check out the website. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.